Hi, my name is Thibodeau Ape. I will show you how to add some function regarding the analysis of runs. So, in a last video, I presented how the shiny app of PKW where you could analyze your runs independently of software you used, whether it was Monolix, non-mem, NLMX, and things like that. And you could, for instance, analyze, uh, look at the results of these runs. You could look at the uh, predictions, uh, at the uh, goodness of it plus, and things like that. But what if you want to create your own function with a system that makes PKW independent of the software. So it might be because you don't like one of the function and you know like you can uh, change a function um, of you can change some functions or because your project requires some very specific plots or analysis that cannot be uh, predicted and so that we can't have in PKW for anyone. So to do that, what we need to do is to understand few things about how PKWs work. So it's not a video where we details um, where you can find every file and every functions. It's just the minimal things that we need to know about how PKW is working. And so to understand that, you just have to take any uh, run that you want. So for instance, here I will take a monolix run and I will just copy um, the folder and then say run or run what you want and then create run and pass the pathway. And I just do that. And when you are doing that, what you will see is that Pickery analyzed every file contained the, in the folders and extract all kinds of information and more importantly, Pickery standard, standardized um, these outputs. So if you take for instance um, another, um, another for instance, a non-mem uh, output, so let's take that, run non-mem, so just look at here for the monolix runs that, for instance, it, cr it contains an ops data frames with id times and ops in uppercase. So if you then do create run, you pass it, and you look at run non mem, then it will also contain the ops uh, table with id times and ops in uppercase. So this is the whole idea of PKW. Is now if you're working with that object, it will work for any kind of software because it's strictly independent of the software. So let's, for instance, create any kind of function. So uh, function demo. So with, for instance, object, which is equal to run mon. So we will try in with run mon. So now if you have that, so the only things you have to know is that this is not a regular list, but it's an actually an S4 object. So to take the uh, runs, you have to use the arrow bars instead of dollar. Oh, it's working. Yeah, so dollar is not working, so arrow bars. So um, what you, so for instance, let's create the uh, ipred versus time um, function. So you do that, a ggplot, and you can create whatever you like. Time ipred call equal id. So now what you have is a, a function that work for a monolix um, run, but also work for a non-mem run. Okay, so here we have an issue because we don't have a factor uh, about id, and just to make it quicker, id uh, in, let's take the uh, 
change the patient so I prayed dollar ID and one to ten okay so now if you do that now we do have a function that works for any kind of software and it will work also for um, an analytic cell system you want for instance an analytic cell runs you just go there and then create run and you passed and here you are so you do have a function that work for monolith for non map and for analytic cell and if someone had phoenix for instance your function will already be uh, valid for for phoenix but here you just analyze one run you did not analyze several runs as pecari is able to do to do that you have to be aware of the second object which is the folder so to create a folder you just say like, like folder demo for instance you will not use create run but create folder and pass the pathway of any uh, folder that you want and then you it's exactly like in the shiny app PKA will analyze every single run that you found with the software and each run will have a number one thing that is really important to understand is fault demo is a function so here you have to use parentheses to use functions and then you have to use numbers so let's say you are interested in run number 27 then you just do run 27 and what you have is a run exactly like if you have used that if you want several runs so let's just improve that and make sure it will work every time you will give a run so you say if class object equal run then you will have that so it's the same things but now you can use function demo inside that and it will provide you exactly the same thing but what happens if you don't provide only one run but two runs so let's say 27 and 28 now you don't have a run object actually you have a folder object which well, it contains some information and the list of the runs. So, what we have to do is class object equal folder because let's say object equals that. You will have to handle that. So, the first thing you have is the run storage, and then you have to use the uh, object last selected so object last selected is always equal to the last things you mentioned on folder demo so it's a way to uh, get what you just asked and so if you do that you have all the runs that you want here you have several options the easiest way is that if you just want to create the same plots for each one side by side and in that way you can just do a recursive function so you say map and for each of the elements you use the same function actually but as a run and not as a folder and minus x and so if you do that you do have the uh, plot for the first function and the plot for the second functions and then what you can do for instance is uh, invoke and uh, plot grid for instance and so if you do that now you have the right elements okay so um, and if you want let's say uh, the title well you can do plus uh, the title 
point x dollar and I don't recall which one it is so if you do that it's name so name and if you have that then here it is so if I zoom you do have the same plot but for different uh, different buns. So this was the first possibility to use a recursive function to be able to have the plots side by side for each run and this uh, piece of code can be used for uh, at any time. The other possibility is to have one plot gathering information of both run and in that case you have to handle what is the list of run not very complex just have to do that at first all right so now what we will do is inject this function inside the shiny hub of bakery there are two different possibilities we will start with the first one and for that we need to change one thing is instead of ops we will uh, have run so it's important to have a run here if you want that bakery under the run system inside the shiny hub but it's the only thing and then just for demonstration we can have any other argument and then uh, have anything so I save that into a file demo hat here now let's look at what happened if I open my PKV app number three so my current uh, folder is here I have only two one but let's um, analyze this function so we go to manual and here we can pass any f file which contain function and every function will be available here so you can change function if you have several function inside your file and if you want that a run actually return the uh, run if, if you want an argument um, returning a run or folders then you have to call it a run and this is why we change that so if now we say number one then here you are you have your run number one and if you want to compare the two runs then you just do that and here you are you, ha you have your two runs with the names and here you can change the size of your plot so what you see here is the best way to add any function regarding to runs or not that depends on a specific project. If you want to add this function inside Bakery regardless of the project and if you want to share your function then you have to use the second method. The second methods allow you to um, benefits from the shiny hub and for all the input that already exists. So for instance here I have the basic uh, individual plots of Pekaway and I already showed you that you can use also the versions of Crystal and well you can add your own function uh, really easily inside the shiny hub to benefit from all the input. So to do that the first thing you need to know is where is your uh, Pekari installation so you can do for instance find package and Pekari and so you will have the pathway or where Pekari is installed and where does it search for certain files and you go there and you see a folder called add function and then in this plot and so this is where you found the um, air code of Crystal and so you will analyze it and do our own um, plot. So let's do in this plot um, demo and open it. So what we'll do is take our function, but it has to have the same name as the name of the file. So it must be in div plot demo and well don't forget the recursive function so we need also here the name and this is where it will work here 
you see that you have some metadata and you have um, the names of some inputs from the shiny app so if we uh, reopen the shiny app so when you have your uh, pred versions so here run correspond to that and in pred correspond to this one log pred to this one and things like that so if you don't have so if you take plus the crystals you see that you don't have the same inputs is because here x log is empty here so when i switch then i don't have this uh, arguments anymore so this is what we will use now um, so what we will do is remove everything because we don't need everything excepted the run so for run it will be also run so after the equal it must be some, some names of arguments we don't need that we don't need that and if you want you can use filters here for that and basically that's all so when you do that you save that and then you relaunch the pkv app three and now normally what you will see is that in pred you now have access to it so nope why not okay because it's not the same name so it has to be the exact same name so it's in div plot um, so it's a great thing I did a mistake so let's remove that and do pick a hat number three and normally here you will have in this plot demo and then so you see that everything that has not been used has been removed you want number 27 and update plot and you have your plots and if you want several runs 28 you have runs number 28 so this is pretty easy actually you just have to be careful as i did the mistake here to have exactly the same names um, here and here the name of the file might be improved in the future but this is it just to insist so you have two different methods to add your own function inside the shiny app either with that benefiting from the shiny input and for the moment it will work only for pred because i need some programming uh, to make it compatible with other functions so if you want to make it work for another function you can ask me and i will do it um, quickly otherwise you have the manual systems here is really manual for functions that is used only by you for your own project while here it might be um, I would say the soft way to uh, improve PKRA and to contribute to PKRA by programming. So here you don't need to understand how PKRA uh, really works. You just need few things and how to uh, create a run and how to use the run. But you don't really care about how the folders truly works inside the PKRA. Um, so it's just that and if you want to have more example of uh, run utilizations or folder utilizations you can look at the uh, by default function of pkv so basically it's all the functions starting with plot so i don't know let's take plot gov so this uh, is the functions of gov so actually i did not use this um if else structures if it's a run or if it's a folders but i use the more formal s for generic functions so you have what happened if it's a run and then what happened if it's a folder so if it's a run and then you will have the same thing what happened if it's a folder and i think if i recall correctly that i did use uh, the kind of recursive function so, so then if you do that you can then send me um, the file that you created and then I can add it in the by default files uh, that is with PKW and this is what Crystal did and well of course she had her names here because of this uh, function so well this is 
one way to make PKV a participative project is by allowing everyone to create its own functions and be able to implement them easily inside the Shiny app.